The Girl with a Barbershop Quartet by Kathy Kimura. Like many of the afflicted, Essie Edwards learned early on that the mere mention of her condition was too much for others to handle. Any attempt to explain herself inevitably resulted in queer looks, dismissive headshakes, and ultimately rejection. When she was younger, she sought counseling to no avail. The counselors seemed more perplexed by her condition than even she was. When she came of age, she made a decision to simply try to accept herself as she was. After all, being born with a barbershop quartet was not nearly as devastating as, say, having been born with a klezmer group or a zydeco band, though she might have preferred their latkes and crawfish gumbo to the milkshakes and root beer floats favored by her barbershop quartet. Instrumental music was distressing to her sensitive nervous system, and so she decided to count her blessings and get on with her life as best she could. She resigned herself to working at the local barber shop, but when she learned that the barber pole symbolized bloodletting, red for blood, white for bandages, and blue for patriotism, she fainted and had to be revived by her quartet with a hearty round of, Goodbye, my Coney Island baby. She was promptly given her walking papers and commenced the walk of shame, as she had done so many times before. Back in the 90s, she tried to pawn her quartet off on a music-loving friend, but they were quickly returned the following morning with her friend tearfully complaining that they had serenaded her with fat-bottomed girls all night long. She tried leaving them at the train station with tickets for the annual barbershop quartet festival in Marblehead, Ohio. She handed them sheet music, and as they looked down to read it, she made her escape and ran like the wind. But they soon caught up to her, singing, Walking My Baby Back Home. Finally, in an act of desperation, she had tried listing them on eBay with a best offer. Unsurprisingly, there were no takers. And so now, once again, she found herself jobless and penniless. Essie was defeated, in despair and out of options. She knew what must be done, so she took her barbershop quartet down to Main Street to busk for tips. Within a matter of days, they had enough money to take the bus to Coney Island, where she swallowed her pride, accepted her fate, and walked along the boardwalk with her quartet, hat in hand, begging for tips from passers-by. So this is how it all ends, she thought. I shall live out the last of my days, a lowly busk collector, afflicted with a barbershop quartet. Essie wept openly into her straw hat and sleeve garters. She soon settled into the seedy life of a barbershop quartet boardwalker, the role she was destined to play. Day followed night, which followed day ad nauseum. Essie and her freak show performed for the entertainment of strangers and passers-by with a smile on her face. But at night, she cried herself to sleep with tears not even a clown could envy. One crisp September evening in the middle of Shine On Harvest Moon, a young man in a bow tie approached her as she sat mending her vest. Pardon me, miss. Is this your barbershop quartet? He asked. Essie braced herself in anticipation of his cruel taunts. Yes, this is my barbershop quartet, she answered defensively. He smiled broadly. I thought so, he said, without a trace of mockery. Essie was stunned. He had a kind and handsome face. Do you mind if my beauty shop quartet and I join you this fine evening? He asked. You have a quartet? Essie asked in amazement. Yes, I inherited them from my father's side of the family, he answered warmly. I thought I was the only one, Essie said with astonishment. His beauty shop quartet took formation before her and began to sing a song from Carousel. When you walk through a storm, hold your head up high and don't be afraid of the dark. At the end of a storm, there's a golden sky and the sweet silver song of a lark. Essie's quartet joined in. Walk on through the wind, walk on through the rain though your dreams be tossed and blown. Walk on, walk on with hope in your heart, and you'll never walk alone. The young man reached out his hand to Essie, who grabbed it for dear life. 